what started as an idea over a few beers. The idea of being able to play football again, without having to train and without having to play every single week. Just one game every couple of months. Let's dance in style, let's dance for a while. Heaven can wait, we're only watching the skies. We got a good response and ended up with 14 guys in white shirts against 14 guys in black shirts in what was meant to be a once-off game. Let us die on, let us live forever. In Don't the end, the it was the White Ice winning the first ever RUFL game. The trophy, a foam football super glued onto an ashtray. After game one, the demand for another game was high. It seemed like everyone had a mate that wanted to come down and have a kick if we were ever to play again. It was them with the logo made on Matt Paintbrush that the Rusty Nuff Pit Football League was born. with the Red Devils debuting. Three teams changed the whole format of the ruffle. Games became rounds, with each round all three teams playing off in a round robin tournament. tournament, 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 tournament. In the first game of 2011, it was the White Ice, the dominant team, winning both games and starting the season undefeated on top of the ladder. The inexperienced Red Devils struggled, losing both of their first two games. But then in round two, the league was flipped on its head, with the Red Devils coming out firing and winning both of their games. And the previously undefeated White Ice, losing both. The games were going great. And more and more people were getting involved in the ruffle. But as any football league would know, you need money to survive. To get liability insurance, to get cancel approval, we needed money. For money, we needed a sponsor. 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 I am pleased to announce that the Imperial Hotel in Burke Street has agreed to become a major sponsor of the AUFL and is backing us with $2,000. This sponsorship was exactly what the AUFL needed and would allow us to get council approval to play our games. Immediately after game two, Laidlaw Stars Football Club has contacted the Ruffle and offered us access to their grounds at WA Smith Reserve with access to their club rooms, canteen and bar. 50% of the takings of the bar during an RUFL event will go back into the ruffle to help support our great league. Now the ruffle had facilities and we also had money. Now 
it was time to grow our brand. With a four-week ad campaign that ran in the local papers, a fourth RUFL team is coming in 2012. The Blue Storm. We've come a long way in a year and a half. How big will this thing get? What will it be like in five years' time? That we don't know. There's nothing like a What's happening?